I I'm not doing it. Every single Teen Titans video I've made, I've copped out and done the thing, but I'm not doing it this time. No way. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about Titans Season 2. I will go into spoiler territory, even though I'm not going to be covering every single plot point. So if you haven't seen the season, I probably wouldn't watch all the way through this video. Otherwise, we're going to talk about it. Let me know in the comments down below. Was this better than Season 1, or did it underwhelm? We'll talk about all of those things. Okay, Titans Season 2. So in this season, our team of young superheroes combat evil and other perils in the form of Deathstroke and Cadmus, as well as many other heroes joining the team. So, Titans Season 1. Let's backtrack a bit. I enjoyed parts of it and then other parts I had issues with and it's one of those shows that after putting my video out and reviewing it and kind of talking through my thoughts and I don't mean this in an extremely negative way but the show kind of got worse for me especially after seeing Doom Patrol and how just fantastic fun emotional that show was such a thrill ride and then I saw Swamp Thing and what that could have become what it didn't become, because it got cancelled. You know, you go back, you revisit Titans in your head, and you're like, well, maybe that wasn't as good as I thought it was. Not that I thought it was fantastic, but I had a good time with Season 1, and there were still really good things to like that kind of set up Season 2 to be significantly better. So, did Season 2 live up to the hype and surpass Season 1? I say absolutely. In my eyes, Season 2 is better. Now, is it a fantastic season of television? I wouldn't go that far, but I would say it gets very close. We'll get into the finale here in just a bit. I was a bit underwhelmed with certain aspects of the finale. I liked what they were going for, getting really emotional, trying to bring our team back together through, um, through loss, through death, even though I had issues about how they went about that death. They still attempted to make things really emotional, and there are some shots in the season finale that worked really well. But overall, this season, the story, the plot, Deathstroke, oh, Deathstroke especially, was awesome. I was a bit fearful for Ian Glenn playing Bruce Wayne, especially after hearing the accent in the first episode. I'm like, I don't know if I'm all the way there with that just yet. But the more I got used to it, the more he popped up and played such a big role in this season. I had no clue Bruce Wayne was going to be the presence that he was. I mean, if we look back on everything, he's kind of the reason, well... So we think he was the reason that the team got back together and he was just this force of nature all throughout, even blocking the signal in the final episode so they could get Connor back. It was awesome, man. And I really, I grew to like his interpretation of Bruce Wayne and he started to be more sympathetic. I think this is more of the Bruce Wayne fatherly figure as he gets older. We look at something like Batman Beyond, we see the same character progression and I feel that way about this Bruce Wayne with this version of Nightwing and Dick, of course, plays a massive Massive, massive role in this season. He is, uh, he's the main character uh, of the show and everything kind of goes through him and they're facing Deathstroke and fighting Cadmus at the same time as Cadmus captures Beast Boy and Connor and they're operating on them. And of course, I mentioned Connor, we get origin stories for all sorts of new heroes in here. Now some come and they go, but the real one to talk about here is Superboy. Connor. Now, we got teases of some of these other heroes that join the team here. Donna being a big part of this season, Hawk and Dove, of course, having an even bigger role in Season 2 than they had in Season 1. And every character, it feels like, gets a pretty big aspect of the story, and if you think after three or four episodes, well, they're not focusing as much as I want them to on a Beast Boy, or this character, or that character, they will get their time to shine, and they all really definitely do. So Raven's storyline is interesting because she's really turning into something else even more than what she was in season one. Deathstroke was dead, but now he's back, so they have to face this um, this threat that is a big part of the Titans' history, and a lot of this runs through Deathstroke's children, one of those being Jericho, who was killed, and that was one of the reasons why the Titans split up in the first place, and I really liked that storyline. I thought it was great. We almost lose Jason earlier on in the season, and I love how they tied Connor's episode, kind of revealing who this new Superboy character is, tying into the end of the episode prior, where he ends up being the one to save Jason's life. Jason gets an interesting story because he is now officially Robin since, you know, our former Robin and Dick Grayson is now Nightwing. And by the way, I know I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm just talking like crazy and I'm kind of scatterbrained, but that costume, man, is just awesome. That's one thing I'll say about this season. Like, it felt more 
superhero-y. It felt more comic booky. I had this joy watching it like I did Doom Patrol and The Boys earlier on this year. Instead of, you know, the feeling that I had during season one, I'm just like, everything's dark and dreary and everyone's just in a bad mood and it's all just kind of depressing and no I mean like I said I, I like certain things that they do with the characters but I just wasn't all the way on board Starfire is another character and she has her own thing going on right and it's heavily teased at the end of this season but we have Blackfire reigning in her stead she killed both of Starfire's parents and they have to deal with that storyline and Robin is lying to everyone like I said Jericho apparently died but did Jericho actually die now there is a there's a storyline within that that didn't really get capped off and didn't get a nice bow tie. Not that I need a nice bow tie to every single storyline, but there were a few things left open in the final episode, but we will definitely get there eventually. Now, I also liked how Dick spent a little time in prison. Of course, Cadmus is doing everything with Garfield and Connor, but Robin is really finding himself the conversations that he has with Bruce, uh, and the mind fight that they have with each other is great. Like I said, just this force of nature, even when he wasn't actually there he was there he was in everyone's minds he was pushing the story forward he kind of you know pushes dick or nudges him in a direction to keep this team together and when a team suffers loss like they do in the final episode that is when a team really becomes stronger and i hate to put it like that because we lost donna in the final episode and you know thought the titans saved the day thought batman came in and saved the day like he always does but no um I, I just didn't like the way that she went out. It felt very random, just kind of tacked on at the end. And we're 30 minutes in, and I'm sitting there thinking, the episode is kind of wrapped up. Where do we go from here? Like, what more is there to accomplish? Of course, a, a few storylines here and there that we need to tie off. But what else is there that's going to play this big of a part? But, yeah, I mean, I, I just think they needed a reason to make this team want to be a team again, but I thought that battle at the end kind of cemented that. We didn't really need that specific dad. And don't get me wrong, it was sad because it was intended on being sad and you felt for all of the characters, but it's like, that's how she goes out after fighting Superboy? That's how she dies? And it just felt like, I don't know, we, we, we could have come up with a more interesting way to kill her off. And then Deathstroke. You build up this giant villain in an incredible way, in my opinion, and the guy was just, I don't think this is the end of Deathstroke. They have to bring him back, right? Right? Are they going to bring Donna back? I mean, Raven goes off at the end of the episode, but I just, um, I feel like that was over quick. I feel like Donna's death was quick. I, I feel like this finale was underwhelming in multiple senses, even though I got some things that I really enjoyed. I mean, you get Nightwing showing up and boom, standing on the car, Robin in the costume, now Nightwing in the costume, and it looked great. I thought it was fantastic. Maybe they just can't have two super strong people. Maybe a super boy and a wonder girl. That's just too much, right? So we got to kill one of them off. But can you do it in a more interesting way? I don't know. Maybe I'm just complaining. Maybe I'm being too nitpicky. But how did you guys feel about the finale? Were you disappointed? Were you underwhelmed like I was? I just... So many storylines that ended so quickly, and I had such a great time with, with Deathstroke, and the fact that he was working with Dr. Light at the beginning was really entertaining, but Deathstroke on his own and storyline with his children. Now, it's suiting that his daughter is the one that ended up killing him. Don't get me wrong. I liked how he went out. I just didn't like that he went out after, like, five minutes. Regardless, I still like Titan Season 2. I liked Titan Season 2 way more than I liked Season 1 after thinking about it, of course, after pondering on what worked here, what necessarily did not work here. Now, I'm still going with a similar score that I went with in my Titan Season 1 review, but just know that that score has since lowered, not dramatically, but it's definitely lowered. And before I give you guys my number, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more DC things out of me, obviously I'm a big comic book fan, so I love making things like this. Uh, I'm going a 78% for Titan Season 2. I thought it was a really good season. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I was just disappointed with a few things about the finale, and there were storylines that I didn't care as much about, and there were a few lines of dialogue as we got in Season 1. They were a bit cringeworthy, and I'm like, yeah, a real person wouldn't say that. But the acting got better this season. I liked the character interactions more. I liked the discussions a tad bit more, and this just felt brighter and more comic booky, and that's really what I wanted from a show like Titans. So Titans Season 2, were you underwhelmed? Did you enjoy it? Are you still watching after two seasons? Thank you all so much for watching this video. I believe this is video number four. This is my last video of the day. Aw, I know you guys wanted 17 more. Just kidding. Uh, but tomorrow I, I have one or two more that are coming out. And then Sunday, of course, as always, jam-packed. You guys are the best. 
Titans go!